Hi right, fellas, I uh, just finished this kit. This is the uh, 1934 Ford Slammer Modified uh, by MPC. Uh, this was a really nice kit, uh, basically because I didn't have to deal with any bare metal foil, no, no glass, uh, no headlights or anything. So it, it, uh, it was really nice kit to build. This is painted with, I used the little tester's bottle, that's gloss red, and I thinned it 50-50 with uh, off-the-shelf lacquer thinner and sprayed it through my airbrush. Uh, and then, oops, and then I polished it with Novus II. And that's all I did to this paint. And it came out really well. It's got a nice shine to it. That enamel has got a really nice shine. <coughs> I thought I tried a little bit different scenery this time. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm always at my workbench taking these videos. Uh, that's my uh, 49 Chevy Resto Mod that my wife and I take to the shows. But anyway, back to the slammer. I tried something different this time on the headers. The the header, the tubes of these headers were really nice, but the the area right there on the stock extensions for those headers were, you know, these headers were two piece and they were just terrible looking. So a fella uh, on uh, MCM was telling me to cut those off and get some brass tubing and and uh, cut them. So that's what I did, and they they come out pretty good. I really I really liked them and I had planned on just shooting them a flat black primer and then hitting them hitting it with just a little bit of a, a flat white to give it a deeper look of white but I like the black so well that I just, I just kept the black and the um, I really like the wheels the way they came out that's to me is titanium silver and then I painted the uh, dust covers and the lugs uh, black just to look at, give it a little contrast there. And the bumpers uh, and all the uh, Nerf bars and everything, the support rods, everything, that was all painted with, to me, is silver leaf. I really like that paint. That really comes out pretty good. Let me see if I can get this hood off here. Did a little detail in here, uh, not a whole lot, but uh, I ran a line from the master cylinder and put a twist on it. I actually wrapped that around a needle. It came out pretty good. Of course, like always, I uh, wired the distributor and also ran the battery cables. Kind of hard to see. Let me spin that around here. Yeah, I wired the battery cables. You know, pretty nice. I don't know if we can get in here and see. The dash is really plain Jane. Uh, I just hit that with a, a silver Sharpie and then uh, put a little black wash on. It's hard to see. But uh, it came out really nice. Uh, maybe see it just a little bit. But this uh, spraying with the enamel, that, that was something new to me. Uh, I really like it versus the craft uh, acrylic paints I've been using, and I was thinning those 50-50 with Windex. But this enamel, boy, it really lays down a shine, so I'm going to paint this the next model, and hopefully it comes out just as well. And if so, I might stay with this for a while. really like it. But this kit, uh, I built an MPC kit early on and had some issues with it and MPC kind of gets a bad rap and I thought I would try another one and this 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 kit just went together really well. Uh, I painted the shocks red front and rear and then uh, hit the springs with my Molotov pen which worked out really well. I really like these wheels and tires they give you in this kit. They're super nice. Can't see the shocks in the back, but anyway. 
and the decals um i just put those on this morning and i don't like the way the box had those red flames on there i, I don't know i just don't care for those flames like that so i just cut the numbers out and put the numbers on themselves that looks fine to me i did put the uh valvoline stickers on because i kind of like those but other than that, uh, this was a really nice kit to put together. Uh, I think there's like four in this series of the Slammer Modified. So I may be uh, checking the Hobby Shop or Hobby Lobby for some more of these. All right, that's about it, boys.